those of you that might want to look at it again and um, also just to think about those of you that maybe uh, are watching this at a later stage um, so uh, yeah so we're gonna uh, record here um, how we fold that style how we make it um, this is my one that I just made now as a practice run and uh, it all folds out into a nice star let me show that to the camera okay so that's what we're going to aim for and then we've got a little special thing to do with that once we've made it so in order to get one of these you need either a colored piece of paper um, i've done chosen yellow for obvious reasons but you don't have to have yellow you could have any color paper you want or you can have a white piece of paper uh, a4 um, and um, that could be colored or you could just keep it white and then decorate it later on uh, once it is a star okay so once you've got this idea this technique you can make as many of these as you like so i'm going to use a yellow one for this purpose all right and we always when we're folding we actually don't need um, the a4 size we need a square piece of paper so we've done this lots of time before but i'll just show you again how to make a square piece of paper out of that so you take the top corner down to the lower edge and you want to make sure that the this corner here is correct with the lower piece it fits nicely and it's a little bit fiddly but then once you've got that then you can smooth the, the top edge All right and you've got a bit of a triangle thing going on there and there on the bottom can you see that it's a little bit of that and this bit here is a bit we know we don't need okay so we're going to cut that off now along that line okay along that line you might want to measure that with a ruler or write it i'm just going to do it freehand and again if you're struggling with all these things some of you smaller ones then you need to ask mum or dad or whoever's caring for you today to help okay so now we've got our square piece of paper all right and that's what we're going to use for to make our star out of okay so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to fold up the, the bottom edge to the top edge to make it into a sort of a, an oblong shape all right so it's now half the size of the square and we actually want to have a marker about here um or on this edge if i'm on that edge about a, a third uh, of the way down so we can do that by folding to make that marker or you can measure it with a ruler okay so i'm just going to fold it and I'll, I'll just do it by eye really and so i'm folding it twice to make it into that sort of shape all right and so you could measure it a bit more accurate than me and then i'll end up with a piece of paper with three folds in it but this one here is the one I want that little fold there that's telling me it's about a third of the way down from the top all right so if I open it up like that now my next fold is this corner so that's the bottom right up to that mark that I made a third down okay so I'll fold it and then I'll show you on the camera a bit more accurately so you can see a bit closer um, so that's your marker it's easier to mark that spot with a cross and it's better to do that so what i've done is i've had that shape and i folded the corner excuse me that's it i folded that corner up to that line okay there make sure i've done it right that's it that's it there okay so my shape looks a bit like can you see that properly on the camera looks a bit like that the bottom right hand corner has gone up to the the fold i made about a third down from the top okay so that's what it looks like now all right so next one i'm going to do is i'm going to i'm going to fold oops it is yeah i have to do it back to front i'm going to fold that corner up to the middle so i'll show you see what I'm doing there not too well can you but there we are so I folded that so that's what I had remember I 
So I'll give this one up along that along that fold. I'll fold that one up to the middle. Okay. So we end up with that shape. I'm going to turn it around so it looks the right way up. That's it. So yours should look a bit like that now, all right? So it's sort of a diamond shape going on in the main bit, isn't there? Oh, I've got my cuckoo in the video now. Sorry about that, folks. I don't know what time is, so we might get quite a lot of cuckoos here. So there we are. Okay, so our next fold, one more fold to do, and then we've got to cut with the scissors. Thank you, Mr. Cuckoo. Okay, so we're going to take, I'll show you, we're going to fold that right across. Uh, I'll do it, then I'll come back and show you what I've done. It's a bit like an ice cream cone then when it's finished. So, as you can see, okay, that's what you started with from that last fold. Okay, and then I've taken this corner and I folded it across. Okay, I'll just flatten it out again so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, um, let's be up to the camera so you can see that's what it should look like. Okay, so make it clearer then. Quiet. Now, we've got one more thing to do, and that's to make a cut. It's quite an important cut, otherwise, we have to start again. This finishes our final. So we we'll take our scissors. Um, I don't know you can see from there. Now I'll start my cut there. So my cut is from where my finger is there, okay, and it goes across to there. Uh, there's a line there in uh, where the paper is see that properly okay and basically we're making an even triangle here okay across the bottom so what I'll do is I'll cut it and I'll show you I'll see if I can cut it to the camera it's quite difficult doing it around the wrong way no I don't know you can do I'll have to cut it and show you so let's do that across there okay and I've left with this bit here which is a triangular shape. Okay. And um, when that's opened up, in fact, if I opened the other one up, I'd have the hole in the middle. If I open the bit that I'm not using, I have a triangular shape in the middle there. I don't know if you can see that, but anyway, you don't need that bit, so let's not worry. So when you open this up, like I did when I first started the video, we've got a nice star shape. Right. Okay, that's your star shape. Lovely. Should be a five, five pointed. I've actually cut one of my points off there. I think I've cut it a bit too much down the bottom. Okay, so when you've got that, what we're going to do is just draw a couple of shapes in the middle. I'm going to draw a stable shape, which is quite easy to do. Um, so you need to, I'll do it and then I'll show you on the camera what I've done. A stable shape. Okay. Now you can make this as flash as you like or as simple as you like, okay. So there's my stable shape in the middle. Okay, and then in the middle of the stable I'm going to write the name of, what do you think? Baby Jesus, yeah. Now you might want to make this much prettier picture, but for the exercise of doing this, I'm just going to show you there. All right, so there we go. I've got the baby Jesus. Now I'm going to do a special thing with this because um, if you listen to my talk, which I've also got on video, and if you're at Forest Church, you would Forest Church, you would have had the talk. But you might want to listen to the talk first. I'm just going to fold all these points in, you see. I folded the point into the middle. Uh, let me do that, show you. So I'm folding that point into the middle and all the points into the middle. Okay. 
So it looks a bit more like a, I want my, a more of a diamond shape, so it's a smaller version. So I've got all my points folded in the middle, okay? And I might just score, just flatten the edges around as I go. And uh, just make sure they stay down, okay? Now I'm going to go and stand next to my camera and move the camera because if you can see down the bottom here, I've got a nice bowl of water. So I'm going to point my camera at that bowl of water just to show you what I mean. All right. <clears throat> and we're going to um, put our star, I'm going to move the camera a little bit, thanks. That's it. Now if we put our star in the water, flat down, okay, and then patiently wait. I'll try and put it with the words up the right way because you can see the words in the middle. So if I put that there, and we'll see what happens. Be a little bit patient. Can you see things beginning to happen to the star? Beginning, just like magic, to open up. It can take a little while to do this, so you have to be patient. And if you watch my other film, I did it on um, camera lapse, hyperlapse, I think it's called on the cameras. So when you play it back, it's speeded up and it happens much quicker. So I'll share that video with you as well. So you can see what's happening. The star is opening up and revealing what you've drawn inside, okay? So that ties in what we've been talking about today in terms of looking for Jesus, the three wise men, the kings as we know them by, went looking following a star to look for the baby Jesus, didn't they? And they couldn't find him at um, Herod's palace and they continued following the star and took them to the stable where Jesus was born and revealed Jesus to them. So that's symbolic, our craft today, just to remind us that we have to sometimes look for Jesus in places we wouldn't expect to find him in our lives and maybe in other people around us. He's not always obvious in the places that we think. Okay, That last bit down the bottom is slowly opening up to reveal it. It, it can take a little bit of time. Okay, so that's our craft today. I hope you enjoy making it. You might have to watch that again a couple of times. And if you're with us at Forest Church in the morning, that's what we'll be doing. So thank you very much for watching this video and uh, we hope to see you soon. Bye bye for now.